Are you tired of the wear and tear on your pants pockets caused by your pocket knife? Well, there is another way to carry your knife, you know. Not only will it be easier on the pockets, but it will be much easier on the knife. My name is George Hurst. In this program, we will show you how to make your own custom fitted leather carrying case for your knife. The first thing we will do is make a pattern for our knife. Now, I've taken a piece of, uh, of uh, cardboard, actually it's uh, what we call cardstock. It's a 65 pound paper and I've folded it in half and I have a line going down the middle here. Now, we'll take our knife and we'll place it centered on that line and then we will roll it to the side. Now as we roll it, you'll see here now we are taking up the thickness of the knife, of the knife. So let's now take our pencil and we will draw the outline of the knife. Now we want to have some of the knife sticking out of the top so we can sketch a little line across here which will be the top of our case. And now we've already got the thickness of the knife over here, so we need to consider the thickness over here plus another quarter inch for the uh, stitch line. So now we will sketch a line in there, about a half inch from the edge of the, of the knife. Now, since this one's going to be just a uh, an open top then we can go ahead and make the belt loop now to make the belt loop it's pretty easy we'll just make an arc off the top here and come in about a quarter of an inch same thing over here come in about a quarter of an inch now we can take our ruler and measure from the edge got a quarter of an inch here and we've got about uh, one and seven eighth over here so now we can come up here and add a quarter and double check this and now we can draw Align with our ruler. Straight up from those marks. Now we know, uh, or now we have provisions for the belt loop. Now, if it's going to bend right about here, and we're going to have a two inch belt, uh, or make provisions for a two inch belt. Let's make it two and a half inches and then this will be where we'll fasten it. Now, there are several ways you can fasten it. You can fasten it with several rivets or you could stitch it. Uh, I prefer to stitch it. So now I'll just add a little bit more and sort of draw nice end on there and then we can have a stitch line right here and a stitch line here now we can just erase these other lines now at this point we'll take the shears and we'll cut out this cardboard or file stock or whatever you want to call it, this thin 65 pound paper. And this will be one half of our cutting pattern. Now here we will cut down the center line 
down to the top of the case. And now we will cut the other half of the flap. Now, from this point on, we can now fold it over and with our pencil, we can mark the top of the case and we can draw this line. Now this will become the pocket. So let's take a little, take our pencil and draw a little dip in the leather. to make it easier to remove the pocket knife. Now, we can take our shears and cut this half. As soon as you get this cut, it's a good idea to uh, it's a good idea to mark one left and one right because once you have this pattern made it can be used for a left or a right hand person. So this one would be for a left hand, this one for a right hand. So let's take our pencil and mark it. And left. After you have cut your cardboard, it's a good idea to take the knife and see how it's going to fit. Uh, just fold it over like you see me doing here and then uh, lift it up and make sure there's enough there. And it looks like we're going to be just fine so we can go ahead and cut leather. Uh, if it doesn't fit, then cut more cardboard. Cardboard is a lot cheaper than leather. There are two ways you can cut this leather since it is a four to five ounce, so it's not real thick. You could cut it with a good quality shears or you could use a good sharp knife. In this case, I'm going to use a good sharp knife and I will cut carefully right on my line. If you can, it's a good idea to cut all the way through with one stroke as we have done here. At this time it's a good idea to take a, an edge bever of the proper size and edge these uh, top edges here. The, the edges where we're going to glue it later, we, we won't do those right now, but these ones are going to be exposed so we'll go ahead and, and edge them right now. Next we will dampen these edges with water. Not necessary to make them real wet, just dampen them slightly. Since this is a thin leather it's a good idea to do the slicking with a bone folder as you see me doing here. It is now time to form the belt loop. I'll just fold it over as you see here and I will put three marks on there with a belt tip marker. And now I will take the proper size punch and I will punch three holes. Now I will fold it back into position again, take my marker and mark for the three holes. And then I will punch those three holes with the same punch. Now we will fasten the belt loop with the rivets I'm using the rapid rivet so they're real easy. Just put the two parts together and tap. 
In this case, since I'm using four to five ounce leather, the small rivets are sufficient. So we'll just put those three rivets in and we're ready to continue. Next, I will apply about a quarter of an inch line of contact cement all the way around the edges, as you see me doing here. And then we will let this dry until it gets tacky. We have allowed our cement to dry until it's tacky, and now we can stick the two edges together, being very careful that we line up exactly right. And we're now ready to punch for our stitching. First thing I'm going to do is use my stitching groover and I will gouge a groove for the thread right along the edge, as you can see. Since we're using uh, some four to five ounce leather here, I'll use a thonging chisel to punch my holes. Notice I have some beeswax here that will help me with the punching. And make sure you go straight through so that you hit the groove on the back. If you hold your punch straight up and down, it should go to the right place. And now we will saddle stitch this. And now we will finish the edge just like we would in the other edge. We'll edge bevel both sides and we will take some wet dry sandpaper and after that we will slick the edge again with the bone folder. After we have uh, dampened the leather some we can put the knife in and and fit it around, fit the case around the knife. Now, if you want to leave this overnight, you put it in a plastic bag or some other thin plastic and leave it in and let it dry overnight. To learn a whole lot more about case making for knives and many other items, I would suggest you look into the volume one of The Art of Making Leather Cases by Al Stolz.